What's up, y'all? So, I just so happened was out, right? And I think this had to have been the other day, a couple days ago, last week, whatever, that I posted this post about how white people wants, basically wants to be black people or have our culture, yet they don't want to see us happy. And I'm telling you, I don't know why I had a feeling at that moment once I shared that fucking post, bitch, that some white person was going to get offended and comment on my shit. So happened this motherfucker is a look like a goddamn infant ass little boy, okay? Although this motherfucker claims he's in college, but yet I think otherwise. Because, nigga, you look like you're a newborn. Shut up. How the fuck you gonna sit? Let me tell you what this motherfucker said, okay? Basically he, will, basically, he was saying that it was bashing his race. And, um, it was bashing his race and is racist. Racist to whom? It may be racist to us, yet we're, black people are the chillest motherfuckers on, you know, out this motherfucker. We, we giving y'all niggas the, we give excuse me, wiggas the privilege to get all this shit that we already got, bitch. So how the fuck you gonna sit there and say that's racist to your people when it's racist somewhat to our people? But then again, overall, if you want to be technical, it's really not all that racist. Like, literally, please don't fucking argue with me. Don't argue with a woman, number one. Don't argue with a black woman, number two. And don't argue with Kayla LeVon Willis, number three, bitch. I am not the motherfucking one. And plus, I don't even like condoning internet bullshit. You know what I mean? And it's kind of <laughs> funny that this motherfucker was saying all this shit. Basically, he was just repeating himself. And it's like, you sound remedial as fuck, bitch. Why? is bashing my white community. Bitch, how? It's fucking true, bitch. It's fucking true. You don't see this shit because you're white your damn self. And let me tell y'all something before I go any further. For anybody that is not black and supports us, that's cool. That's really cool with me and probably the rest of black people in the black community. You know, we, we chill. We don't care. If you cool with us, we cool with you. Some black people don't like white people. I mean, that that's them. I, you know, I disagree. This is like, you know, not everybody is the same, you know. But if you that type of motherfucker that... <clears throat> how, how, how can I put it? That is not with us, then get the fuck off my shit. And that was the funny part about it. He was the one saying, oh, I'm all for all races. So why are you still commenting, bitch? That doesn't make any more sense. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how the fuck are you going to sit there, you all for the black community and other races, but yet you're still trying to tell me that the shit is racist or is bashing your fucking uh, white community? Bitch, shut up. And on top of that, I was in the car too, bitch. I have really bad road rage. Okay? And the fact that your motherfucking ass decided that you could comment on my shit, number one. Decided that you could say some retarded ass shit to make it seem like it's the smartest shit. And you're trying to make it seem like I'm the dumb bitch, number two. And you just got me fucked up overall, number three. I just ain't got time for it. Like. <laughs> bitch, you need to have several seats. Okay? Don't fucking start no shit with me. Don't get me started on no, um, especially nowadays, about no, um, basically racist shit, but mostly it got something to do with black people shit. It may sound racist to you because you're white, and you took it as, excuse me, you took it offensive and you took it as if it was racist, but, excuse me, if, excuse me, good lord, if it was somebody else, I bet you it don't matter what race at this point. If you would have asked any motherfucking body, they would say that shit ain't even all that racist. Like, half of that shit is true, sweetheart. I don't know what to tell you. You can believe in your fan fantasy world or whatever the fuck you want to believe. It ain't even got shit to do with race at this point. It's just whatever the fuck you believe. It's, it's ridiculous. 
if you are doing what you're supposed to do as a human being on this fucking planet and just in life in general, you would have just looked at the post, stayed your opinion back at wherever the fuck you're at, and kept it fucking moving. But no, you didn't do that. And let me tell you something else. That wigger chose the wrong bitch. I'm not the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one to be arguing with, especially about black people or just race in general. race in general. I just don't 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 stop it, nigga. Look, excuse me, wigga. Let me tell you what's racist. Calling me a monkey is racist. Saying that black people are lazy is racist. That one person, I can't remember his name, is Thomas something. I can't remember his name, but I learned this shit last week in um my service learning class. I can't remember his name. Thomas something. It was way, way, way back in the day, like 16, 1700s. And this motherfucker made the, um, this motherfucker wrote Amazing Grace. And before they wrote The Amazing Grace, they were basically saying how black people basically are not human. They don't deserve to be treated like humans, all that type of shit. So, and then after, at the end of what that motherfucker wrote, said Amazing Grace. That's how the fuck they wrote Amazing Grace. And that's why I don't like that motherfucking song. Because I never did. But I, you know, I never knew, you know, I never... When you're, when I was younger, I never really paid attention to that shit. Especially when you're a kid, you really don't pay attention to that shit. Now, if a little bit of the kids in this generation, they might pay attention to that shit. But you know, back when I was a kid, 2000, mm -mm, I didn't pay attention to that shit. Plus, they wasn't even teaching that, so it was like, eh, I'm not gonna pay attention to it. And so now it's even like, <sighs> how are you gonna tell me that that shit? What I just said, Thomas, oh my god, I can't remember that motherfucker's name. Thomas, Thomas something. Whoever wrote Amazing Grace, that motherfucker. That motherfucker and some other people, some other white people, said some shit about black people, described each race, and then the black people was just so horrible. I can't remember what it said, but basically saying that we're not human, we ain't shit, don't treat them like we're, they're fucking human because they're not human. Because of our skin color. And, to me, I was fucking, I really wasn't that shocked. Let it have been me five to six years ago, I would have been shocked as fuck. But really, I wasn't that shocked. Because I would have figured. So you tell me, that shit, that motherfucker Thomas, whatever his last name is, that wrote Amazing Grace and described black people basically throughout the whole shit um, before writing Amazing Grace, tell me is that not racist? I'll wait. Cause I slay, cause I slay, cause I slay, cause I slay. Go ahead and get information. I slay. I'll wait. I'm still waiting. Tell me, is that shit not racist? That's racist. Putting on a black mask when you're white as fuck, and you put on a black mask back in the day in shows and com comedy, whatever it's called, comedy, um, you know, just shows in, in general. Tell me, is that not racist? I'm waiting. Somebody please tell me, is that not racist? A black mask. Tell me, is that shit not racist? I'm waiting. Tell me, is that shit not racist? Okay then, shut your dumb ass up. Don't tell me what the fuck is racist and not racist. You just sound dumb as fuck. Because... You just got the wrong bitch. And I'm just now learning all this shit that really went down back in the day with my people.
Since you want to put that shit out there about show people, that's cool. But the fact that you are still arguing with me, number one, and still somewhat repeating yourself, number two, and number three, excuse me, the fact, and this is the stupid part, like I said, I'm just going to keep repeating this shit because this just sounds hella dumb. The fact that you said that you are with the black community, but you're with your people too, you just sounded dumb as fuck right there. Because how the fuck are you going to say you are with our people, yet you're still arguing with me that that post is bashing your race? And it's not at all. It's not. It's not. Don't fucking sit there and tell me shit, okay? Because, and, wait a minute, on, and on top of that, this motherfucker said, you didn't go through anything, your ancestors may have gone through something. Now you just sound dumb as fuck. So, you're telling me slavery was my ancestors too? So, you're telling me full of black people in that church that was shot? That too? Okay, then. You just sound retarded as fuck. Shut up. Stop trying me, bitch. Stop it. And I'm an Aquarius, too. Don't try me, motherfucker. Don't try me. Don't. And I'm black. And I'm fucking proud of it, bitch. I'm black and I'm cry I'm fucking proud of that shit, bitch. I don't give a fuck about what nobody say. I'm a walk through the motherfucking hallways, bitch. And go to my motherfucking class and learn shit. I'ma go down the mother- I'ma drive down the motherfucking street, bitch. And I'ma get to my destination where I have to go without even worrying about who the fuck doesn't like me for my motherfucking skin color. Bitch, I'ma go pick out some motherfucking calls for my motherfucking interview or just some shit I need or want. At, you know, personally or just if I have a job interview or whatever the fucking case is, bitch. I'ma get my shit. And if a motherfucking look at me sideways, I'ma keep Keep looking, bitch, because I don't give a fuck. Because I'm not hating on you. You hating on me. You hate that I'm living. You hate that I'm breathing, bitch. You hate my skin color, too. You don't want to see us living in this motherfucker. I tell you, I bullshit you not. I think I brought this shit up before in one of my other videos. That is some, um, if anybody that lives in California knows what I'm talking about. In the north side of California. If you go to Stone Ridge Mall and you're black. If you go to Storm Ridge Mall and you're black as fuck, not based like hella hella dark skin, but just black in general, you know what I'm trying to say, black people don't take it like that, and I'm going to get to that part in a minute, and <clears throat> if you're black and you go in the motherfucking Storm Ridge Mall, bitch, I'm telling you, every non-black person, not every, but you know, I'll say some non-black people, or pro probably even most, will look at you hella funny. I'm t I say that I'm not bullshitting. I s- oof! I'm telling you, if you don't know, you need to take your motherfucking trip to motherfucking Northern California and go to motherfucking Stone Ridge Mall, bitch, and you will see for your motherfucking self. I'm trying to tell you, or if you have your own mall in wherever you stay at, I'm telling you, I'll fucking tell you, record that shit and send that shit to me, and I will, I will post that shit, make a motherfucking video collage of that shit, and bitch, because I ain't lying about this shit. I know it. I, that's why I don't even go to Stone Ridge no more, because them motherfuckers are always looking, because I am black. I am black. And, quite frankly, I don't give a fuck anymore. Because it's like, we're here to stay, bitch. We're here to stay, motherfucker. Why? Why? I don't get it. And it's so fucked up, and it comes down to this, since you want to go to fucking racism. As a matter of fact, this shit ain't even got shit to do with racism. But about the fact that the police is killing black people, or black males most of the time. And it's just fucking ridiculous. Don't fuck... Bitch, don't go there with me. I'll name it. almost everything because my memory is so fucking terrible. <laughs> I'll name almost everything that every event, probably recently, that has happened thus far. But don't fucking play with me. That's fucking sad. <laughs> it really is. It's sad. And this is what we have to do as black people, as a black community. <sighs> really, this is the number one thing that I see a lot in this generation. Stop making it seem like stop no fuck yeah. Stop making it seem like 
Light skin and dark skin are two different races. It's not. Bitch, you're still black. If races, um, racism, slavery were to come back, bitch, they'll have us all on hands and knees picking cotton, bitch. Don't fucking sit there and make it seem like, oh, well, you're light skin. And don't even, that's the other thing. And I noticed this a lot. Dark, mo oh, well, I don't know if I say most, but at least the dark skinned women, women, women that I have come across, stop downing yourself. That shit pisses me off. I hate when a dark skinned black woman downs theirself. That pisses me off. You are fucking fabulous, bitch. Okay, let me tell you something. Just because your skin is darker, that don't mean that you ain't a part of us, number one. And number two, that you're not beautiful. So, get that shit through your motherfucking head. And let me tell you something. This goes for both skin colors. Now, I, I shouldn't even put that in uh, quotations. I should have put <laughs> races because some black people put it as races and it's not races. But okay, thank you. That's dumb. But... <laughs> This is what y'all really need to do. Stop hating on the next black woman, number one. Stop hating on the next black woman that has longer hair than you, number two. Stop hating on the next black woman that dresses better than you, number three. And let me tell you why. You could get up to that motherfucker level, but don't be in competition. And matter of fact, ain't even got shit to do with that. As long as you got confidence within yourself, bitch, you are great. You are fabulous. You are beautiful. Bitch, don't don't lower yourself. That's dumb as hell to me. And I, I don't know. I just don't like that shit. Don't lower your standards because you are a darker complexion or a lighter complexion. There may be some light skinned people like my you know, not like my myself. Blah, blah, blah. Damn, I'm tongue twisted. Um <laughs> not like myself literally, but you know, light skinned people that probably feel the same way about dark skinned people. And I you know, that shit is just fuck. That's flat out ridiculous. And it just comes down to black women in general. Or not just black women. Black people. Stop degrading your own race. Because we are going through the most times right now. And probably just in general we're going through the most shit. So why are you sitting there mad at a sister because of some dumb ass shit? Why? Why? We got... We got worse shit to worry about. Like, how... How like how are you gonna keep your son safe from these police? How am I gonna teach my child all this shit that's going on with black history? I don't even like saying history with black. Because, I swear to God, every time I hear the word history, I think of his story. That's literally what I think every time. But anyway, yeah. So, we just got to stick together. Because we're the only race that degrades ourselves And fights for no fucking reason. And kills each other for no fucking reason. Matter of fact, yeah. I don't, Well, the last part probably ain't got shit to do with race. Because it's probably some people, you know. But it's mostly our race. And the shit is sad. We got to come together as... People in general and black people and as a black community to <sighs> long story short, something's gotta give. Cause this shit now is just getting ridiculous. That post lightweight pissed me off because they sounded dumb as fuck, but you know what? I'm gonna let them sound dumb as fuck. I'm not gonna get pissed off because you know what? I know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. You don't know how generous I am. I started to be generous for a minute trying to say, you know, Try to apologize, talking about it wasn't my intention. But you know what, goddammit, you know what? Since you want to put it like that, that's how you're gonna take it. That's on you. Literally, that's on you. And if anybody takes it offensive like that, that's them. I don't care. You could have just left it at, oh, look at the post, talked about it with your friend, your mama, whoever, and kept it fucking pushing. But no, you chose the wrong motherfucker to start an argument with about racism, especially black people. Do not try the chosen. I'm, I'm telling you, in general, I'm not that bitch. Don't even try me. Especially on the motherfucking road, bitch. I have serious road rage. Don't fucking play with me. 
But that's besides the fucking topic and the fact and the point. But yeah, just the, this is getting ridiculous. We all need to come together and figure shit out and do shit so everybody can be on the same fucking page and everything can be peaceful. It does. It probably, do, you know, it will take time for shit to come together and be peaceful and be right. But you know what? It's better than nothing. Now, I can't re-rise and get information, okay? It's not like I was saying... Okay, but um, it's not like I was saying information. No. Let's get in formation. Two separate words. But anyway... I will see y'all when I see y'all in the next video. If you feel some type of way about this post and you are not black, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. That's on you. Sorry that I'm not sorry. I don't care. It, that's that's on you. I don't care. Sorry if you hear that banging noise. I keep getting messages. But, um, yeah. And we gotta rise, man. That's all I can say. We gotta rise. We gotta come together. Fix this shit. So, it can be heard, seen. And be alive, too.